I was here with um, Ryan Pratt, the Swift goalkeeping coach and keeper. Ryan, what do you reckon you're going to be tonight? It's going to be a big game. Um, tough, tough team. Obviously, league below. Uh, we know that going into the game, they're going to be the underdogs, so we've got to raise our game. It's a tough place to come. They've got a good home record. They're a great side. Played against them a couple of times, so uh, let's go and give it everything. We've got to play for a final to play for, so hopefully, we're in the final for tonight. Obviously, last um, time I met you was at Bromshow Sporting. Where have you been on loan since then? So, I left Bromsgrove. Uh, I went to Bedworth United as a coach, player coach, and then had a few games at certain places, and now I'm here as a coach. How are you finding it back at Starport? Best club I've been at. Uh, Quentin's probably the best manager I've worked for, so um, really, really pleased to be back at Starport. It's amazing, amazing people, great dressing room, great lads. And obviously you pick, unfortunately picked up an injury, how are you coping now? Yeah, mentally pretty good, you know, these things happen in football, but uh, you know, you just have to keep going, you have to be positive, and luckily I've got the coaching to focus on, so um, it's not a case of oh, I'm sitting at home not doing anything, I'm here supporting the lads, and that's the main thing for me. All the best, Ryan, on your future up the Swifts. Cheers, Paul, nice one. And you, full time here at Watch. Washington Meadow finish, Stafford Swift 3, Lytown 1. Ryan, what do you think of that match? Brilliant win for us. Uh, hopefully it puts us up in the table. I think that was a massive, really important three points. We played a really tough team in Ly. Uh, we knew they were going to be big, physical, strong, athletic. Uh, Granton, Ross and Chris have gotten playing some really good football there. So we knew we were in for a battle. And to be fair to every single lad today, 1 to 14, 15 in the squad. They were outstanding. And obviously, you used to goalkeeping coach at Loy a few years ago. So, how would it um, them playing here? Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. The lads, to be fair, from Loy, they were really sound. Um, to be fair, they've gone on and done some really good things in the last 12 months. So, uh, I wish them well and um, obviously all the best to them. And obviously, unfortunately, Slev, our main midfielder, had a ma massive injury in the first half. How was he yeah, doing Yeah, I, I think he's struggling. Um, I haven't seen him at the end. I saw him at half-time and he was struggling. Physio's going to have a look at him and we'll see what happens from there. But fingers crossed he's going to be OK, uh, mainly for him. Obviously, it's a big loss for the team, but at this level of football, when players get injured, uh, they have to think about their work and their jobs and their family. So um, as long as he's OK... That's the main thing. Let's talk about your programme. Yeah, yeah, it was, no, it's good. It's been a busy week. Obviously, we've done a lot of work on the playing side of things, preparing for Lye and preparing for OJM. Unfortunately, that was cancelled. But yeah, we're working on the programme. Um, something I do sort of as a little bit of a hobby. But um, yeah, I think people are happy with it. Do you, do you think it was good? Yeah, it was brilliant. Oh, that's the main thing for me then. Nice one. And obviously, you're, you worked alongside your friend and you have a Twitter page. Yes. In Lee yeah, Shaw, yeah, yeah. they talked about that. Yeah, so basically that's about promoting young players in non-league and um, getting them sort of out there in the eye of non-league football league clubs. So um, yeah, we're doing some good work on that front. And obviously you're a Warsaw fan and amazing they got the 2 0 win today. How do you yeah, feel? Yeah, finally, finally, yeah, we've had a run without a win, so it's nice to have a win this afternoon. Starport win and a Warsaw win. You can't go wrong, can you? No. Living the dream. Obviously, and let's talk about your injury yet yeah, again. How are you coping now? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It's good that the lads can go and win, and um, we're playing some good football at the moment. I think that's six on the bounce we've won now. So I'm still involved, I'm still heavily involved on the coaching side of things, off the pitch as well. Uh, yeah, obviously, you want to be playing, especially in games like this when we've got cup finals, cup quarter finals, games like today, local derbies. But ultimately, I've still got a big involvement and I'd like to think that the work I do in the week and on a match day helps the lads on a Saturday. So for me, yeah, everyone wants to play, but we've got a great young goalkeeper <coughs> in Josh who has been fantastic today, fantastic this season. And he's someone who um, has worked incredibly hard and he's someone that you look forward to working with. So um, I don't think I'm particularly too bothered about playing at the moment because we've got a big project at the moment. And obviously um, today Jack Watt stored that, I don't know how he stored it, but a funny doll went to Matty 3-1. Yeah, 
Yeah, he took it well, to be fair. It was awkward. The keeper's come out and made himself big. I thought, oh, to be fair, the keeper's done really well to block down the angle. But what's he's tucked it home. He's done ever so well. It's nice for him to be on the score sheet. He's a great player. He's had a bit of a drought, and I think he'll hold his hand up and say he's missed a few chances. But do you know what? He works really hard. Um, he's a resilient character. He's a top lad. And he deserved his goal today because he kept battling. He kept going. He always stays positive, and he's a great part of our, yep. our team. And obviously, you've been on my channel for, for three times. Um, if you want to promote your own like Twitter page, Go ahead. Yeah, you can go and follow me at Ryan Prato one um, I try and post as much as I can. It's a bit difficult around work yep. and different things. But yeah, if you want to give me a follow, go for it. If not, no problem. <laughs> yep. All right, cheers, Ryan, for Cheers, Ryan, for the interview. Up the Swifts. Up the Swifts. Here, yet again, with the man himself, Ryan Pratt. Ryan, massive, massive game tonight versus Light Town away in the League Cup quarterfinals. Every game at the moment is a big game, and this is exactly what it says it is uh Lie town difficult place to to come um we know we're gonna have a tough game we had a tough game against them two weeks ago so we're expecting a battle today um should be good should be good hopefully we can give people minutes and get through to the next round but it's not going to be easy at all and obviously um the final is that warsaw for club you love hopefully he was in depth there what would it mean to you Oh, massive, yeah. It'd be fantastic. I mean, it's a great occasion to play in any cup final. Um, so, yeah, with it being Warsaw, with that being the club I support, I think that'd be fantastic for us. And obviously, let's talk about the lead. We're doing fantastic in the lead, I think. We are a couple of points away from Warsaw Wood. And second, how do you think the lead done so far? I think there's been games where we've had disappointing defeats, but on the whole, we've had a really good season. Uh, the thing is with the league, you have to play week in, week out, you have to be fantastic every single week, you have to put in the performances. Sometimes um, we've let sort of games slip and we've had silly defeats, but on the whole, it's been a good season and wherever we finish, I think the lads have done themselves proud. Obviously, we want to finish as high as we can. If we win all our games, then that's all we can do. And obviously you're back at the club where you spent some of your um, football time and coaching time. How would it feel? Yeah, yeah, I spent two spells here. I was here when I was 16, 17 as a player. I played in the youth team, played a couple of games in the first team and I was here as a coach when I was 19, so about two years ago. Uh, for me, this club gave me a platform at a level of football. Um, I had a lot of good experiences here. It's great to see some of the lads and the management team. They talked about the pitch. Yeah, it's, I think it's um, quite well known for being a bit, uh, what's the word? <laughs> it, I wouldn't say it's bad. I mean, it's going to be a bit ropey. To be fair to the people down at Lye, they work really hard on the pitch. And in fairness, they've spent a lot of the day working on it and making sure it's match fit. I've had a walk across it and it's going to be a mud bath, <laughs> but we're looking forward to it. I think, you know, that the people, the clubs at this level, they are professional. They have to work on it when they can around work and different things. But live, in fairness, have done a good job on the pitch. Um, let's talk about uh, your injury yet yeah, again for the third time third or second time, time. Yeah, I've done my knee. Yeah, for the third time. Disappointing, but uh, rehabbing really well. Doing some work with Jack Gallagher from Kiddy who's sent me a plan so yeah working on that at the moment feeling okay feeling okay back to kicking a football and running around a little bit so uh yeah i'm not going to be rushing back like i did last time i'm going to take my time and see how things go do you want to do your store prediction for full time in this game hopefully we've won doesn't matter how <laughs> we've won but uh it's like someone's joining me we've got a goalkeeper joining me what's your score prediction tonight mate two nil two nil two nil you can't get the score. As long as we win, that's amazing. Alright, Ryan, up the Swifts. Here with Quinton Townsend, with staff of Swifts and manager. Quinton, massive game tonight versus Lloyd Town in the League Cup quarterfinals. What do you reckon? Yes, it's one of those games midweek under the lights. Pitch is obviously not ideal for both sides, um, but looking forward to it, yeah. Chance yep. to get into the semis. Yep. Um, the final, obviously, at, at Warsaw and 
Arsenal done an interview earlier with Ryan Pratt and he said it would be amazing if the club did it that way. And obviously you're in the final already, the Worcester Senior Cup, and you play Redditch United at Bromsbury Sporting. Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, yeah, I'd say to have that already in the bag at the end of the season is something we can all look forward to. Mm-hmm. Uh, in regards to this cup, I think you no, know, everyone would say they want to go and play at a league, a league two, you know, a league round. And Walsall would be amazing to take the lads to go there. But these are the games we live for. We've got to win tonight, and that gives us another chance, and we're another step closer. But yeah, I'd love to take Starport to to Vescott. And since last time we talked, um, we have been amazing, like winning, winning. Um, drawing and, and lost some unfortunately. How do you think the season doing so far? The season's been very good but we've lost 12 games and that's the reason that we're sat in 4th or 5th instead of 1st or 2nd so we'll rectify that in the summer um, but obviously there's still plenty of points to play for this season yet and a lot of the teams above us are playing each other. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what happens over the last eight, 8 games or so. There's going to be a lot of twists and turns, yeah. I think. And obviously you brought two new players in. we like to talk about them. Yeah, we brought two new players in because the squad's been quite thin recently and we got made aware that there was a couple of lads. Obviously, Matt Harlan's come out of Kidderminster. He played against us for Kiddy in the, se- in the Cup game. Um, and he can play in a numerous amount of positions, which is great for us. And obviously Cam, the striker, he's a big lad. He's going to be a handful. He just needs minutes. He's come to us from Stratford, so we've got him until the end of the season. And hopefully he can start firing for us starting tonight. And obviously we have faced like three times, I think, I'm pretty sure it is, away um, where we're playing now and lost. Was it 1-0? Uh, here we lost 2-0. 2-0, in sorry. The league, and then obviously we beat them at home. In the league and both one. games were tough. Um, Wednesday we played OJM Black Country and we managed to win on pens. How do you feel after that win? Um, Don't I, internet. I was pleased we won, but to be frank, it was probably our worst performance for a long time. So to play badly and win on penalties, I'll take. Um, but I wasn't particularly pleased with how we played. No. Um, we like to talk about the pitch. This one or ours? Uh, this one. This one. We. Lies just one of those places where it's, it's almost a bit of a joke, but you want to get in there, get the job done and get out. And it's no different tonight. To be, to be fair, I came down this afternoon and the, the, the ground staff were working on the pitch. And to be fair to them, they've done a very, very good job to get it playable, considering there was a match on it last night. So fair play to them and uh, looking forward to a good game. Have you done any final words for the players? Yeah, go and get us to the final. <laughs> Fan twin. Guys here with Ethan Harrison, defender for Staff or Swiss. Ethan, how do you see, how do you think your season done so far? I think uh, on a personal level, I think uh, I've played most games for Starport. Um, and I think my performance level has been uh, a good standard. Um, I think for the team, uh, we've been sixth or seventh, top six or seven all season, um, challenging for that promotion. That's probably gone now, but um, we've been there or thereabouts. Um, We've had a competitive season, so I've enjoyed it, and I think yeah, it has been a good season uh, on the whole. And obviously, we are in the Worcester Senior Cup, Cup, um, Cup final versus Redditch United, who is higher than us. Let's um, talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I think I believe they're two steps above. Um, obviously, good test for for me and for the lads um, to pitch ourselves against higher opponent. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's not long now. Uh, it's the games you want to play in under a big crowd, under the lights. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I hope to see quite a few people there. And obviously, we are ho- we are, are at home today. Um, what do you think today, Uh The pitch doesn't look the best. Um, nice, nice weather for it though. Um, obviously, we're all hoping for a win and a clean sheet. So uh, hopefully, uh, that's what today will bring. And obviously, even you're a Liverpool fan. How do you think Liverpool are so far? I am. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I think we all know that Liverpool have had a good season. Um, I think it's all about next season now on the rebuild. Hopefully, keep hold of Klopp. Well, personally, that's what I think. Um, and yeah, it's one to, it's one to forget. Um, but I don't think you can dwell on it too much. Um, just as long as we recruit right in the summer, um, I think we'll be perfect next season. And obviously, if you are only 19, a young player like you, um, they're getting lots of games right at this level. You love it. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. Um, personally, to get to how many games I've done, how many games I've started, 40 plus, um, to get that amount of game time um, at this level, in a good team, in a competitive level, um, for me, uh, it's just given me that groundwork to 
always struggle. You, you always want to go higher, so hopefully um, over the next few seasons that may happen. But as long as I'm at Starport, I'm happy. I'm playing games. Um, good bunch of lads to be around. Good management. So yeah, it's all good. If you had any final words for the fans, what would you say? Um, just thanks for all your support. Uh, Travelling traveling miles in the Midlands and all the fans coming to support, like yourself, um, yep. always in good numbers for this level. Uh, I think there was 200 odd at um, the Droitwich game, which is a great away following um, at this level. So yeah, I'm just thankful for all the fans. Um, and it's been a pleasure this season, yeah. Thank you, Ethan, for the interview. Best of luck. Thanks, Hi, guys. We are here at Winchurch with Super Ryan Pratt. Ryan, how do you think your season's on so far? With your injury, training Josh? Personally, personally it's been a season filled with ups and downs. Um, I think I've learnt a lot from this season and I can take a lot from it into the coming seasons. I feel like I've matured as a player, as a coach, as a person. And it's been, like I say, a real, real learning curve for me. Really pleased to be here at Starport, working with Josh, working with the lads probably the best club like I've said before I've been at and hopefully we finish the season strong obviously we want to finish as high as we can up the table we've got a cup final to look forward to so there's plenty to play for even in the last three four games and obviously um, you told me about the Maddie scene what's been out in a couple of days I thought about that yeah so it's been an idea sort of in the pipeline for a long time uh, to do a magazine at a football club and finally we've got the opportunity to do that at Starport so that will be coming out on Saturday for the Racing Club Warwick game and we'll also sell it for the last game of the season at home to Atherston so yeah it's probably I've put in 30-40 hours of work into this magazine um, and hopefully it'll sell well and people will enjoy it. And obviously today we've got Winchurch away, do you know anything about them? Yeah we're expecting a difficult game today. Uh, they are in the cup semi-final in the League Cup. They've got Lyon Wednesday, so not sure if they'll make a few changes today. Having played on Saturday, but this is a very difficult place to come to. It's the longest trip of the season. Um, very, very tough place in respect with the supporters. They're uh, very passionate up here. Um, the pitch is lovely, to be fair. I know Luke has worked really hard on the pitch to get it. To get it ready and there's always a lot of games here but uh, but yeah they're a great football inside with church really lovely club it's a lovely away day i know it's a bit of a trek but uh when you get here it's they're really nice people um and you get a great welcome um people that are after me what is the oldest boots or oldest gloves you have have weared in your career do you mean like um the ones that i've still got now anything really oh and a child Oh, I remember when I was younger, I think I was about eight or nine, and I had a pair of the zebra print Nike Superflies, which I think Ronaldo might have worn. Mm -hmm. uh, goalkeeping gloves, I mean, heck, I've worn every single pair of goalkeeping gloves known to man. Um, yeah, I do love my gear, to be fair. I've got a pair of gold Nikes at the moment, um, and I'm rocking some white gloves, which are quite nice as well. Um, if you had a word to say, or your final word to the fans, what would you say? Yeah, the fans have been fantastic this season. They always are here at Starport. They uh, they give us a boost in games. They give us that extra ten percent. But uh, yeah, again, when you go to Starport and when they uh, follow the team away from home, they're very very supportive. They're lovely people, and uh, I just can't thank them enough really for the support. And the next couple of games, we really really need them. Uh, we'll need them in the cup final. We'll need them to outsing Redditch. Um, and like I said, it as a player as a coach it just it spurns you on a little bit more it drives you forward um, and we're lucky at Starport that we've got big numbers of support thank you right up the Swifts best of luck up the Swifts cheers Paul full time here at Winchurch if finish Winchurch nil Starport Swifts three and we are here with Super Josh Bishop Josh how do you think today's game went yeah, it was a great battle from the lads um, First half really helped us three uh, three goals in quick concession. They uh, came at us quite quick, but we weathered the storm. Got um, three quick goals, and then second half wind against us. It was a real battle to get out, but the lads at the back defended brilliantly. Defended from the front really well, kept our shape. 
managed to keep clean sheet, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, another um, great performance from you. I think that's your best game I've ever seen you play this um, <laughs> month, actually. How are you finding that starport on loan yeah, from Kiddy? Yeah, um, I've got, got tall boys, their, their fans and that saying I had a really good game. I was man of the match. Yeah, but... Guys, we are here with Super Ryan Pratt. Ryan, how do you feel? You just won the Worcester Senior Cup 2-0. Yeah, so good. Such a good feeling. Uh, I felt we deserved to win, if I'm honest. I felt we were the better team. Redditch came as a tough test. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Every, every single player on the pitch today, every single player in the squad, every single person uh, on the management team, every supporter, that's for them. And I'm so, so pleased. I'm so pleased. And obviously you won at Abbey um, at Bromstrow Sporting, where you did coach and keeper um, probably a few months ago, would it, or something like that? Yeah, it's How nice did to be feel? back here. It's nice to, uh, to come back and win. Um, but again, to be fair, I had some time at Redditch and I really enjoyed it. They're a fantastic, uh, fantastic club and I wish them well and all the best. Yep. Um, I have to say, today is probably, probably the best time on, on Swift's history. Would you say the same? Probably, yeah. Probably. We've got a great history here. Uh, it's a great club and the only way is up for us. So, yeah, it's a great day in the club's history. I'm really pleased for the fans. They deserve it today. I'm pleased for Pip and the people that put the work in behind the scenes. Uh, they deserve it today. And how do you manage the scene, though, um, last Saturday? Yeah, the magazine went well. Um, we can still obviously sell that so Saturday's game um, £3.50 for a 52 page issue please buy it put a lot of hard work into it I think you'll like it if you buy it so uh, yeah please support do you want to talk about the um, Twitter page and the star yeah it's going really well going really well to be fair um, getting a lot of uh, a lot of eyes on it so yeah just going to keep going going to um, enjoy obviously the celebrations tonight and enjoy Saturday lots to go this season final words for the fans tonight thank you so much for your support uh, this okay. is without a doubt the best club I've ever been at um, you're all fantastic well done Ryan Thanks, Paul.